Welcome back, friends. We're inside my pantry, and it's an absolute disaster area, okay? I have already pulled over 500 pounds of food out of this trailer, and I can't even believe it. For those of you who don't know, we live in a 31-foot travel trailer, and this is the bedroom that we converted into a pantry. This is the platform where the bed would sit, and underneath this platform is all of our winter gear. I've got to get everything. I mean, I've made a good dent, but all of this has to come out so I can lift this up, get the winter gear out, and then we're going to take all our canned goods, okay? All the tin canned goods are going to go underneath this platform. We're turning this back into a bedroom. If you remember in that corner, I had tons of meat products, okay? I'm going to show you how I was able to store 120 cans of meat in our living room and you can't even see it. Let's look at that right now and then we're going to get in that undercarriage. You're not even going to believe what I can fit down there. All right, friends, I want to show you this. This is our TV, okay? right here and don't be freaked out by the way this bookshelf looks it's just old and the paint is chipping off it's just old that's all eventually i will repaint it but until then this is where it's gone behind our television and i have 120 cans of meat behind this television all right everything that's right here in the front and accessible are the things we need to eat first if it's up on the very top that means you need to eat it way first okay in the center shelf that's everything that has a 2025 and up date I don't even need to worry about that for at least a year's time all right friends this is the other side Okay, behind the TV, we've got spam, some of my different various jars of food and things from the pantry. There's roast beef, sweet sue. I think you're getting the idea. All the foods that are right here and easily accessible are the things we're going to try to eat through this winter. And this is completely hidden because it's tucked behind the TV. I'm trying to get more of the food out of my face. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm really, not only am I moving it from the pantry, but I'm trying to create more of a homey atmosphere rather than it looking like we just live in a pantry. And I'm okay with that too, but now that we have more space outside, I'm able to actually do this. Speaking of space outside, I got to show you my undercarriage because that's next. Okay, this is what it looks like in our underneath carriage. And I have more number 10 cans of survival food I want to get down here. So I'm going to pull some of this propane and put it in the shed. That way I can make room for it. So I'm going to pull a couple right now. We'll see how much room we can make. All right, I moved some things around. And uh, this is what it looks like in here. See all those cans? So keeping with the theme, I brought some more cans out because I've got to get this pantry emptied. I'll put them in and I'll show you. All right, after moving things around, I can see I really need to get in the other storage because I think I might have a lot of room over there, but I'm still trying to get them all to fit. I put all the baking soda over here because it fits great. And I still have a lot of space here, up here, up here. So now I can go back in the pantry and see what else I can bring out here. But let's go to the other side of this cabinet and see how much room we have. All right. Let's see what we got down here. Oh, holy cow, I have a lot of room, guys. Okay, so that's mainly soaps and things of that nature. That's the back end of everything we just put in. More soaps, cat scratcher. And yes, we have an R2 unit in our storage, but I've got room. Come here. Ryan, come here. Oh, she's running. Are you running? Come here, Ryan. Are you running? Yeah. Come on. Let's go. There she goes. Go see mom. Oh, 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 there she is. There she is. Hi, baby girl. Okay, that was a fun interruption. I'm back. I already put a couple containers in here, but I brought, I brought a lot 
of stuff. Let me show you. I just, just now, I packed up some oats and some sugar and flour, and then I've got these canisters and these. So, this happens to be all gravy, and we're going to put that over there. I'm going to put things I think I might want more towards the opening. Things I know I'm not going to need are going to go straight back. Like these containers here, each one of them has five pounds of parboiled rice. I'm going to shove those way back. Way, way, way back. And I just remembered I have a bunch more of this soap that I can bring out. Still looking like lots of room. I'm going to go ahead and put... This is cachava. We have several bags of it. But I, I kept some inside the trailer. We have plenty to last us through winter inside the trailer. So we're going to push that back too. Okay. I've got some more gravy. So push that gravy there. That won't work. Let's see. This is soy textured protein. Stick that in there. That should do good right there. Okay. We've got those glass jars there this and down here this is all those little drink pouches i mean there must be 150 of them in here definitely are not going to need these so uh, you know what i'm thinking that'll work now I have these bags. I'm gonna put the phone down for a minute. I think I can slide these oats on top here. These oats wouldn't fit up there, but I was able to fit that 10 pound bag of flour. I still have an area up here, and this is 20 pounds of sugar, and that's not gonna fit on top of there, so I'm gonna go look for more stuff to put in there. Okay, I've added some more jars and cinnamon and coffee and I have these teas to put in. Whew, this is the last load of stuff I am gonna put in this trailer. This is uh, 60 instant oatmeals. Would you look at that? All packed, still have a little space if I need it, and I'm feeling really good about it. Thank you for coming along with me today. This has been quite a project, but as you know, I still have a lot to get out of my pantry, and I will keep you updated on that. Keep stacking it to the rafters, everybody. Protect your food. This is your investment for your future. We love you all. Give us a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll be talking to you really soon. God bless you.